watching KOS. Keep on shooting. All right, guys. So I got Mr. Turtle here. And I got some cans at 30 feet. Not quite the full 10 meters. Because just practicing shooting forks that are this narrow with a projectile this small. So let's see how we do. Got the first one. Let's get the second one. Sorry, it takes me a while to load the tiny thing into the pouch. And then when I shoot, I just point and shoot. Got the second one. Let's go for the third. There you go. Go for the fourth one. Tiny little thing. Look at that. Ah, just to the side of it. Let's try that again. There we go. Let's go for the last one. Again, you gotta make sure this BB's all the way back and dead center. Or else that's gonna throw off your shot. And there we go. Just wanna do a part two on Mr. Turtle here and show my progress after four hours of practice, instinctive shooting using .177 caliber BBs with a .6 band and a GCK BB pouch. I know the band's a little bit overkill for a projectile that small, but for now, this is the thinnest rubber material that I have. I do have some precise .4 on the way. I'll be giving those a try as well. I know you guys have been asking for the specifications for the measurements of the slingshot. Let me show you guys the measurements on this little thing. Stick around. Let's take some measurements, Mr. Turtle. For his tiny little feet. Let me zero it in first. There you go. We're looking at a fork width of Forty-eight mil for the fork gap. We're looking at twenty-five mil, and we're looking at. 5 inches in length or 129 mil and the good thing about this setup guys is that you can also shoot 3.8 steel sorry I got some lint in my pockets let's take a shot at that can in full butterfly there we go <laughs> definitely packs a punch a little bit more suitable for three eighths but bb's are a lot of fun too oops 
Almost dropped you, Mr. Turtle. And here's a little extra bonus, guys. Let's see how powerful Mr. Turtle is. I got a can here of cream of chicken. Let's see how much penetration we can get on it. Stick around. All right, so I have my can over there. Nice and set up. Let's shoot it. Let's see what top penetration we can get using 3-8 steel. Shooting full butterfly. 10 millimeter, 0.6 sniper sling. I got it. I just don't know where. I might have gotten the top of it. Let's go check it out. And yep, I got the rim of it. Let's try that again. All right, guys, so I'm back. I got my can right there. Let's take another shot at it. Just over it. Shooting forks this narrow, very challenging. Not my typical 90 mil fork, that's for sure. Let's try that again. Oh yeah, we got it. Let's go check out the damage. And again, we got the rim of it. Here's one shot and here's the other. Pretty good power. Now let's go for the middle of the can, not the top. Let's take another shot. All right, we're back. That can does not want to get pierced. Let's give it another shot. This band's definitely feel maxed out. Let's see if I can get it in this one. There we go, finally. Let's go see. You can come with me, Mr. Turtle. Aren't you happy? Look at that. So we got in and out. A lot of power there. Very nice. All right, guys, so that concludes today's video. I just wanna do a part two of my progress shooting this slingshot, something I acquired in Mexico for the small amount of $2.50. But for $2.50, I'm having a blast here at the ranch. Before I go, 
just want to say thank you to each and every one of you who have liked, commented, and subscribed to my videos. The channel has been growing. Thank you very, very much. I really, really appreciate it. You guys take care. Very difficult times out there. Stay safe. And as always, keep on shooting, guys. See you guys in the next one.